Hey everybody, it's me, and I'm going to show you how to upload a photograph to Flickr. So you're going to come over here to this big sign in, and I've given you an account name and a password, so just sign in using that. And it's going to bring me to my home page, and I need to come over here to Photo Stream. And when it gets to my Photo Stream, which is the place where you upload your pictures, you're going to see my name, you're going to see our little train account, and it's going to say, whoops, we're running on empty, so let's add some photos. So in order to add photos, I'm going to come up here, I'm going to hit upload, and when I get to upload, I can either drag and drop or I can choose my photos. I'm going to use this choose photo, it's going to open up the location of my picture, and I'm going to upload this one. So click on it and then say open. And so it's going to think for a second, it's going to show that it's uploading that little, little dots going around, and boom, there it is. So where I want to focus for the rest of this is over here in this editing window which is where you're going to make all your decisions about this picture before you go way back over there to that side of the screen and actually upload it. So this is the editing window and I'm going to add a description that's going to say um, snow on the OB oops I don't want to type of North Carolina. So these are the palm trees in my front yard that were covered with snow this winter. I could add tags. So I could do palm trees, um, snow, um, I could do outer bank of North Carolina. It's always nice to tag your photos so that somebody's searching for them, you know, will work. I'm not going to add it to people, add albums, add groups yet. What I want to concentrate on are these owner settings. These owner settings are where I determine who can see it so I can make it visible to everyone in the public and I can make it public visible and publicly searchable. So doesn't do much good to post a picture to Flickr and then not let everybody see it, but that's absolutely your decision. What's more important is to come over here to this license. You'll notice that the default license is a copyright all right reserve, but we want to post these so that they're CC licensed, so I'm going to hit edit. And when I hit edit, you should recognize that these are all the different types of Creative Commons licenses. As I click through them, you'll also notice that the um, Creative Commons icons appear with the description for each of the icons. For me, all I want is attribution. really doesn't matter to me what somebody does with this picture of my front yard. So I'm going to select just a good old-fashioned CC BY, and then I'm going to say DONE. Now, I'm done editing, but I still have to actually pull the trigger and upload. So when I click this, Flickr is going to ask me one more time, am I sure? Do I want it to be public? I have my tags and I have just a CC BY attribution. If I'm not sure or I want to make changes, I can still continue to edit at this point. But for me, I'm done, so I'm simply going to hit Upload. And it's going to say, Hold on. And so now when I come back to my photo stream, I'm going to see my picture posted here. It's going to have the name. It's going to have me. So if they click this link, it's going to take them to the information of the picture. If I were to click this link, it's going to take me back to my photo stream. So if I click on the name of the picture, Palm Trees in the Snow, then what I'm going to get is the picture will open in a new window, and I'll see the photo, but more important than that is I'm going to see 
all of the information that I put in when I posted my photo, which most importantly is going to be this license, that it's simply some rights reserved showing me with my CC BY license. If somebody wanted to use my picture, then they would use the same options we use, which is they can edit it, they can, which is this, because I allowed editing, they could share it, or they could actually download it. So because I've used this CC BY, um, when somebody comes in and searches for palm trees in the snow on the Outer Banks of North Carolina, or some version of that, what I know is that they should eventually be able to find my picture. So, um, the only other thing is when you are finished working in Flickr, go to this little camera icon right here and you need to click onto that and then say, whoops, click onto this and say sign out so that you're signed out and the next person can come in and get their pictures posted on Flickr. Um, in order to open a Flickr account, you can do it, it's free, and you can do it with um, a Google account, um, but Flickr is actually powered by Yahoo, so it's likely that you're going to have to make yourself a Yahoo username, but it doesn't cost anything, and I used a Gmail account specifically for Flickr. So, hope this helps, and I will see you guys um, around the class.